I can go to you, I'm born and bred in Luton, Luton, yeah? I live in Luton. When you say, I'm 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 when you say they're ashamed to come to Luton because of our group... They're not ashamed to come, say they're from... Yeah, say that's when you say because of our group, fertiliser bomber, Stockholm bomber, four Muslims currently in jail for planning to blow the territorial army, but they're ashamed to come to Luton because of our group. This is the problem, like, I believe you're putting a spin on it, which isn't there, because I live in Luton. I, I do not want to get confronted, yeah, by any non-Muslim on my day-to-day -day business. The one thing that has strove me through these four, four years is the support I get when I walk around my town from people. And that's support, because it, it's core to Luton. People have followed the full story. They're, I, I wouldn't get that support in other towns and cities, but people know what I'm saying. People are listening to what I'm saying, even Muslims. I go into, I sit in a Muslim restaurant, it throws people back. I sit in my grill in Luton Town Centre, the whole restaurant's Muslim, all the staff are Muslim, I'm sitting in there, and when I've when met press, press, it throws them, because they don't understand it. I'm born and bred, I'm part of the fabric of that town, yeah? And for us, it is, it is imperative that we tackle Islamist ideology in Luton. That's the problem in Luton. You see the whole far-right neo-Nazi thing? We don't have that in Luton, because we wouldn't allow it, as, as lads of Luton. We wouldn't allow Nazis, racists, Kev's daughter is a mixed race, all of our best friends are of that background. Yeah? We wouldn't allow it. So it's the, the, these where did it spread to? Where these, elements, these elements are as we're travelling in, in different areas of the country, which I haven't seen, until the English Defence, I haven't seen this. Yeah? I, didn't, I, didn't, I hadn't seen this extremism and, and racism until we're going up north into, into different cities where there's more of a problem with it. But to say that, that people say they're ashamed from Luton, look, Luton's been put on the map, unfortunately, because of jihad and terrorism. Now, we have tried to combat that. We have been a reaction to that. And what we're trying to do now, I believe, is a massive step in even saying to Luton Council, even saying to the, the people of Luton, look, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna bend on the fact that we still have a massive core problem of extremism in Luton. And it has to be tackled, and our council have to listen on certain issues of how the people are feeling. But, I don't believe you've done a survey of people in Luton, they're all ashamed to come from Luton because of the... I'm from Farley Hill and I believe, I believe that's rubbish, that's completely rubbish. And the other I'm thing, this journey to leave, for me, this journey to leave for me, this is not like the last week, two weeks, this was nine months ago. Like, this was when I was in custody. And to be honest, there's been a lot that's gone on through that. I'd like to take the opportunity to take, thank you Dave, thanks to, thank Dave Wolfe and Rewind for being supportive through this whole process as well. Yeah, thank you Dave.